got this uh, Kepler taillight from PDW. I'm going to replace the taillight that came stock on the bullet, which I've already relocated once because it was down on the axle. Um, and I've put it on this rear rack now, but now I'm going to put the Kepler here. Let's get started. In case you're wondering what this is, uh, this is kind of a rear bike rack that I built to haul the kid's bike on the back of the bullet. But that's for another day. Let's do that taillight. Originally the taillight was down here, um, but I had to take it off to put the, the pannier rack on, or the rear rack. So what I did is extended the wires up and over and put mounted the taillight here. I'm going to cut this to put that Kepler light in. Here's a closer look at the stock taillight. Uh, these are just spade connectors here that unplug. Um, and all I did originally was uh, cut the stock wire, add an extension with this wire, and use these uh, heat shrink butt connectors. Let's open the box here. Sorry about the leaf blower in the background, but it seems like there are always leaf blowers running all the time. <laughs> all right. Oops. Now it does come with this clamp, this clamp, and I think that's a Bosch plug. We're going to end up cutting that off. And the back of the box shows, oh yeah, there's a Bosch e-bike system plug, and we are going to cut that. Red is positive, black is negative, 6 to 15 volts. I've got both the lights on now. This one's still hooked to the bike. This one I've hooked to an ex external battery. So you can do a little comparison. The Kepler is definitely brighter. The stock light is more diffused. But the stock light, light has a reflector built in, which the Kepler does not. And then as far as side illumination, I'd say the stock light has more illumination at this angle, but as you rotate them, the Kepler gets a lot brighter right about there. I removed the seat post clamp that it came with. What I want to do is mount it to this bracket, um, probably like this. So instead of adding another piece of angle or something in an additional bracket, I'm just going to bend this stock tab 90 degrees. And that didn't work. Well, obviously that is not going to work. So I found, I think this might have been the stock bracket from the stock light. Anyway, I had this bracket lying around. I'm going to uh, get it mounted in here, maybe like this, and get the light mounted here like this. Got that angle bracket mounted. Now I'll get the light mounted here. The light is mounted. Now I'll run the wire. The new wire harness is actually long enough that I could route it all the way down here and meet up with the stock harness where I cut it here. But the stock harness is coming out of the frame right here and I'm, I'm limited as to how much wire I have here. I'm afraid to keep cutting this and cutting this and splicing it. So I think I'm just going to splice this up here, right there. Bring these two together here. I'll cut here and here. I've got the wires stripped. I'll get the butt connectors put in.
And I got some extra heat shrink here just to kind of clean up the ends. That's it, all mounted up. Let me turn it on here. I'd say it is definitely brighter than the stock tail light. Now that it's mounted, um, I think even the side visibility is greater. Looks great. Thanks for watching.